Welcome to the fourth and final part of this tutorial series where we animate this nice winter scene in After Effects. This time we animate our title text with the help of the extension Squash and Stretch Pro. Let's go! So here we are in After Effects now with this winter scene and this house and the anim that we animated in the last part and now we want to animate these texts here. So far these are just these two text layers and they appear here where we want to start our animation and now I don't want to animate both of them in exactly the same way and if you animate text in different ways it's always good to have like one doing the more exciting thing and the other one doing something more basic because if everything makes something super exciting then the different texts compete for attention so then this one says hey look at me I'm super exciting look what I'm doing and then this one here says no no look at me and we don't want them to be competing and therefore I want this one to be very uh, basic yeah so I wanted to start a little bit later than the other one so we go here a bit later maybe like this and then I go to the position and set a keyframe and move this keyframe over here a little bit and now I drag it down and when I hold the shift key it goes only down and not to the left and or the right and then I just put it here a little bit behind the other one and for the end keyframe I go to keyframe assistant easy is in because we want to ease into the end of this movement and now we have here after the first one appears, the second one appears here, the second text appears in a very unspectacular way and is not competing with uh, the attention that this text will get. Okay, so now how do we animate this one? We want to do this with our extension Squash and Stretch Pro. And I want the letters of this text to jump. So let's see what kind of jump behaviors we can find. You can see the cartoon bundle here has various jumping behaviors, but we want to go with one from the core bundle. We want to animate our texts in. So I look here at the in sections and here we've got the jump on the spot behavior, this one. And uh, you can also choose some sound effects here, which helps actually a lot to um, sell the animation. So maybe let's go for the, let's check those. <coughs> oh, you can see <coughs> various different sounds available here. Maybe we go here for this cartoon variant and now I select my holiday slayer and I need to go to the position where the animation should end because it's an animate in and this should be the final position of this in animation. So what I do is I click on the work area icon here to see how long this animation takes and I move the work area over and now I know if the animation starts here where the layer appears it should end here. And now with that and the sound that I want selected, I click on apply. Now Squash and Stretch asks me if I want to split the text into individual letters and I say yes because I want each of them to animate individually to give it a little bit more variation. So now Squash and Stretch created one precomp here for each letter. It needs to create those precomps in order to be able to deform the letters properly to give them some, some Squash and Stretch. So let's check what this looks like. Interesting, but uh, we want the letters uh, to be a little bit more random, a little bit more distributed. So what I usually do for this is to stagger them. Um, also, we've got here our sound effects layer with all the sound effects that Squash and Stretch created. Let me move this at the top such that I can now easily select one of them and move it like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven frames to the back like this. And now I select all of them and go here to the stagger layers function and it already is set here to a random order because I want to le let them jump out all in a random order so to speak and I've pushed one of them to the back to give the range in which it should be distributed. It always distributes between the first layer it can find so in this case all of those and the last layer it can find in the timeline and this is one so it will stagger them all randomly between this point and this point in time Okay, and now you can see they are staggered and I can check what it looks like. 
And this looks pretty cool. If you don't like the randomness, you can shift click uh, on the stagger layers again. Let me just do it with, again, I select all of those. And now I shift click on stagger layers. And you can see it gives me a different random staggering with the same options than before. So if you don't just click on it, but shift click on it, then it will not show me the dialogue again with the options, but just use the options I've used the last time. Let's see what this is looking like. Okay, now the sound effects don't exactly fit anymore because we had only one sound effect before for all of them jumping at the same time. Now I've got many letters appearing at different points in time. So what I want to do is I want to just duplicate this a few times and also stagger it. You could use the stagger layer tool again, but just let me do this one uh, manually here, maybe like this. And since it otherwise would get very loud, I now hit L to reveal the l audio levels and I put it, I, I lower it a little bit. So let's check what this looks like. Yeah, and that's our super easy uh, title text animation. So here is our final scene. I hope you enjoyed learning how to animate this from start to finish, all the different aspects that contribute here to this animation. If you liked our tutorial series, please give us a like, leave a comment if you have got any questions or just want to say thank you. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next tutorial.